going on everybody? My name is Hayden. I'm here with my dad Dave. What's up? And today we are going to do a little story time on how Casa Lawn Service came about, how we started, and everything from 2001 here to 2020, which is dang near 19 years. So, you ready to start the video? Yeah. You ready? Let's do it. So, first question is, when did you start Casa Lawn Service? I started Casa Lawn Service in October of 2001. You know the exact date? Mm -hmm. It was right before your sister was born. So, wow. So prior to the 23rd. Uh, and it wasn't, wasn't, it was just a few weeks before she was born, I believe. Wow. And then, what, what made you, what made you want to start Casa Lawn Service? How I started Casa Lawn Service was one of my coworkers, Casa, Casa Lawn Service is, is and still is, it's his second job. I've just done it after work for many years. Um, guy I work with, a good friend of mine, owns a tree business. Who's it, Mitch? It's Mitch. Mitch. It's a, man, Mitch is a hustler. A guy will work, he'll work, he'll work in the dark. He'll, he'll work 20, 23 hours a day. And so Mitch was egging me on to, he was thinking about buying. He was going to buy his partner out. His partner wanted out of the lawn biz, of the tree business and, okay. he, and he owned a lawn business. So Mitch bought, so in order for Mitch to buy the tree service out 100%, he mm -hmm. just bought him out completely. Bought his lawns, bought, it, bought the tree business out, so, bought him out 100%. So Mitch's was a lawn and tree business. Mitch I, didn't know, lawn, I didn't know yeah. Mitch did. So um, Mitch started yeah. off. And what Mitch did is he had more than he can do. He had trees going, he had a school he was mowing, he had 40 some yards he had to mow, plus working 40 hours a week when we worked together. Yeah, 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 of course. So Mitch approached me and asked me if I would be willing to, he gave me, an, uh, uh, I offered, he offered me part of the business. And so I thought maybe I'll just try it out see and ran with it and it's been going ever since so were you working for mitch at the time or did you buy mitch's I, lawns out i worked for mitch for like the first mm, two months for about two months i worked for mitch and got my feet wet got everything going and i used his equipment because he had bought and everything mm -hmm. so he had the equipment so that's the reason i did it he told me to just use his stuff and then I saved some money and I started buying my, so I can buy my own equipment and, and pay for it. I wasn't gonna try not to finance anything. I just paid cash for everything I did and went, went with it. And so that's how, that's why you and Mitch are so close, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, never really that. I just never knew that. Yeah, because me and you did, I remember back in the day when I was little, little, me and you did a couple, Couple of street jobs with Mitch, right? I was yeah. little. Remember, gave me a piece I of I had a piece of stick that I loved for some <laughs> odd freaking reason. I was young then. So, so who do you remember the first lawn you ever mowed? First lawn I ever mowed was uh, Joyce. Joyce, the one that Joyce. we still have today. So we've been mowing yeah. Joyce's for 19 years. Yeah, I still do that lawn. Wow. She's not in the house now. She's in and so home, but... just a little little update for you guys on Joyce. Joyce, uh, I'll probably show Joyce's uh, lawn, the front end lawn, in this next video coming up. But I did show the back lawn. I was mowing it. That's when the dog came at at me and got at me. It was that lawn, but. Joyce's lawn, for those of you guys who do not know, was my very first lawn that I ever mowed. And I was, was that kindergarten? Yeah, you're five years old. So there's a picture circulating around yeah. in this house somewhere of me in kindergarten pushing a lawnmower on Joyce's lawn, which is crazy because I just learned right before we shot this video that my dad's lawn and my lawn were the very first lawns that we mowed together. That's just crazy. Yeah. So, so Mitch gave you part of the lawn service. Okay, so how many lawns were you mowing at the time when you took over Mitch's deal? When I took over Mitch's part, I think I, it was 11 yards I was doing. And then were you, those are all Lamore, right? Lamore and I had a couple in Hanford. And so you were just going after work. Were you going from after work, were you even come home or would you just go straight from work to? Sometimes I depend on how early I'd get up to take all my stuff with me to work. Or if I didn't, I'd have to come home, change and then head out. So, what was your very first piece of equipment? 
And what was the progression like? Because I know I know you started with the little Mazda, right? And you put everything in the Mazda. I had a little Mazda before I. So what was the progression from your very first one to now when we're rocking the truck and the trailer and all the good stuff in there? So what's the progression you would say? I had a trimmer mower because I did three yards that had hybrid. Mm -hmm. And then I had a Toro personal pace. Which explain that to them because I don't even know what the heck a personal <laughs> pace was when you told it's, me that. You push the, push the handlebars and the handlebars slide in and the harder you push it slides in, the faster it goes. So that was the throttle control pretty that much? That was pretty much, yeah. Wow. It was self propelled, but that was the throttle control. So if you want to slow up, you just eased up on the. And so you're knocking out 10 longs with that? Yeah, and that's then, what I was using. Ed, what about edging wise and blowing wise? I used a, a steel. Uh, in fact, is it that one? Let's, let's show the people. I mean, let's show the people. BG85. So is this thing 19 years old? Uh, no, no. That that thing is it's a BG55. Uh, I mean, I, you've had this for a while. I know that. No, because I got cleaned out one time. They stole all my equipment. Are you serious? Yeah. I'll be damned. Everything? They stole my, no, they stole my trimmer and my blower. So that's just, then I went and bought another blower just like it. Is that so when? That's the second one. That was when you had the trailer, or no? Yeah. That's just, we're talking about the same one when they sold that when they sold the weeded around the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then, so you were rocking an edger blower and then the the mower in the back of the Mazda, right? The, the two mowers. That okay. The so then after that, how did you? What was the proceeding like? What did you get? What did you not like? What did you get rid of? And kind of all that stuff and how we and pretty much how we are today. Well, I got. I got a, a little little trailer that was a utility trailer and someone converted this thing out of, out of three quarter inch plywood and made an enclosed trailer. It was pretty neat. And this thing was so cool, I can back it into my garage. That's right, because you used to park it right over here. I parked I it in my garage. My wife's car was parked on the other side. The thing fit in the garage. It was, it was tall, but it was short, short enough to fit in the garage. I never had to worry about nothing, you know. Getting stolen getting at stolen. night or... Yeah, and then uh, after that, I ended up getting a bigger enclosed trailer. Which one's that one? That one is a 12, 12 by 6? 7 by 12. 7 by 12? I want to say. And I got a Honda commercial. When did the snapper come along? When I bought that white enclosed trailer. And so that's when you're rocking two mowers? Because uh -huh. I know you did a couple... You did a couple fescue lawns that were together, and that was like the specialty motor for the full fescue lawns. Yeah. I try to just keep, yeah, there were some yards I had a mower I'd use just for fescue. People had mm -hmm. clean, clean fescue lawns. I just use a, a mower that, that I use fescue, mowed fescue lawns with. Um, my snapper, I did some big corner lawns on. Uh, Houses on corners, they were just huge front yards. Well, that's this is the rider, right? Yeah, the rider. So explain to me, explain to them when you decided to get the rider. So right, right, right now on this, we're kind of sitting on the you have the snapper and the Honda, and then you have the snapper Honda, and then when did the rider come along? The rider. I bought the rider when I bought the trailer. Okay, so you got that when you got the trailer. Okay. Uh, and then okay, so when did you get the? Because I know you had a so you had a Honda commercial, the snapper and then the Snapper Rider. When did you end up getting the newer Honda commercial that we have in there now? Uh, that's a good question. It's probably been about five years or so. I still have my old one, the transmission went out on it and it was gonna cost more than what the lawnmower's worth to fix it, so I just had to buy a new lawnmower. So, uh, when did you transition from that blower, the handheld, to the backpack? I had bought, I'd had that one, and then I'd bought an Echo backpack just to try it out and see, and it was okay. And then I got me a steel backpack from a friend. And, and that's it, the one with the came with the steel with the weed eater. Right? And the weed eater too. And then I, the weed eater died on me. Now, how did you like how did you like the steel weed eater compared to the echo weed eater? Hated it. It's like yeah. lifting a piece of lead. I agree with you. I could never. It was very hard for me to learn how to edge that thing because it, it was very heavy. It was miserable. It was heavy. It was. It had a lot of torque. Had a lot of power, but 
it was miserable. Now, what do you, how do you feel about the Echo backpack blower compared to the Steel backpack blower? The Steel's getting old. There's uh -huh. very, yeah. there's not much pressure in that thing. Yeah, yeah, I know. The Echo's not, doesn't have as much yeah, power. Yeah, you can't compare an e that Echo to that, to that no, Steel. No, no, are the, are the uh, higher up Echo's pretty good? I've never, I've never messed with the higher up Echo's. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Cause that Steel has some, a lot of power behind it. Yeah, but um, the new Husqvarna's I think are the best. Yeah, so we might have to invest in Husqvarna. I don't know. <laughs> so what are your what's your lawn accumulation like? Because I know you, as you said, you started off with ten, and then kind of how did that go up? And then ten, uh, I got my highest point. I got up to thirty-two, I believe. And so was. when was this? When did, what year was it when you got up to thirty-two? Good question. How did I get it? I had the I had the Mazda still. Oh, so it was prior to any yeah. trailer you had. I had the Mazda with the little red trailer. That's what I was doing that. And so this was before I even started helping you then. Mm -hmm. So you're busting out. So those of you guys that don't know, my dad has another job. With I mean, so you're busting out 33 lawns in a week. Did you have to do it the weekend? In a week. I would probably I think I was going out on Saturday doing it. I think I even did some Sunday. Yeah, so it was a full, I can't remember. It full was, hustle. It was a hustle. Right. It was a hustle. So the most you did, so now, and then you were doing about 25 a couple years ago, huh? back when I was in high school, and then we've really, we've really gone down. I've really that. trimmed down. Mom started working a lot more, so. Yeah. Um, so when did, when did I start helping you? Because I didn't know. Help. Seventh grade. And sixth grade was when I full time started helping. But when did I actually like actually become more of a help than a uh, pest? As I would, uh, you know, it would be more of me helping you than me and, uh, you having to babysit me. Yeah. I mean, you seventh grade, you were sixth grade, you were doing good. No, sixth grade, I was grinding. We came, we came with an agreement. I remember uh, sixth grade. It was every loan I get paid seven dollars, and I had to keep a little tally sheet. And I think by the end of the year, I had. I got at least a thousand dollars by the end of that summer. Something like that. I had to, I remember we were telling that up and that was how I got paid. Uh, some people call that uh, some people can call that child labor. I think you call it hard work and you learn you learn skills and stuff. Growing up, you know, nice. Oh man, I, that, that's why I learned that I should never wear shorts when I mow because that <laughs> sucked when I got hit by your edging. And so sixth grade, sixth, seventh, eighth, sixth grade was really I really started helping you in the summer and in high school I think. When I turned 16, I was pretty much doing your business whenever I could. So I think the first day I got my license, I started mowing like a, an hour after I got my license. All right, so these are all the questions that I've had and uh, had with me and all that stuff. Um, and that's kind of all we have for today. Do you have anything you want to say? Yeah, if you want to see more of Dave in these videos, like Press the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, wow. You heard it here first. If you guys want more Dave, you got to do what he says. You do not want to make this guy mad. And that's the end of the video, guys. My name's Hayden. This is Dave. We're signing out. Cost Salon Service. Signing out. Boom!